One of their uniforms is a full jumpsuit, coveralls made by Nike SB. It looks like you're going to work on a NASCAR. What's up guys? My name is Levi. This is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding. And today we're going to talk about how Olympic skateboarding works. In this video, we're going to cover who runs Olympic skateboarding, how do skateboarders qualify to be in the Olympics, what countries are going to be competing in Olympic skateboarding, what skateboard events there's going to be, we're going to talk Olympic uniforms, and we're going to give a sneak peek of what the skate park looks like, and so much more. Before we even get started, I have to ask, are you down that skateboarding is in the Olympics, or are you of the thought that skateboarding is not a sport and it can't be measured? Let us know below which camp you're in, if you're down or not, and argue with each other, let's figure out whether skateboarding should be in the Olympics. Who runs Olympic skateboarding? The entire governing body is called the IOC. That's the International Olympic Committee. And then underneath that, there's different governing bodies that are in charge of each different sport. For skateboarding, there's an organization called World Skate, and they work directly with the IOC. World Skate was originally called Fédération Internationale de Patinage, a roulette, which translates to the International Rollerblade Federation. So yes, the practical joke here is that skateboarding the Olympics is actually run by a bunch of rollerbladers. There's a great article where Dave Carney roasts these guys. We put the link to the article below. Check it out. It's funny as heck. And so we have the IOC. Then underneath that, we have World Skate. And then underneath that, every single country has their own skateboard association for that country. For the Canadian Olympic skateboarding overseeing body, we have one called Canada Skateboard. And we are fortunate because it's actually all run by skateboarders. And the US, theirs is called USA Skateboarding, and they are also fortunate because it is run entirely by skateboarders. So on a national level across the world, most of the governing bodies for each of them is actually run pretty well, but unfortunately they all have to answer to World Skate, which is a bunch of rollerblading kooks. What skateboarding events will be at the Olympics? The two events that will be at the Olympics for skateboarding is street and the baggiest pants competition. I'm just kidding. It's street and park. The street section will be plaza style obstacles like ledges, stairs, handrails, and the judging system will be based off of the street league judging system. So this means that every skater will get two tries at a 45 second run, and then after that, they will do a best trick section where each skater gets five tries on each obstacle. Top four scores from each skater gets combined. That's their final score and then top score wins. The park section is like a bowl and a pool on steroids all combined all together. It's not your normal bowl to skate, but it's gonna be awesome. For their runs, they will get two 45 second runs and the best run counts. There will be a men's and a women's event at both park and street. How do skaters qualify for the Olympics? Each event will have 20 skaters in it. That means 20 in men's park, 20 in men's street, 20 in women's park, 20 in women's street. This is how each group of 20 skateboarders will be chosen. Three of them will be the top three ranked skateboarders from the world championship events over the last two years. World championships are like the highest ranking or the gold level skateboarding events. 16 of the skaters for each group will be based off of the world Olympic skateboard rankings. In that 16, there's a maximum of three skateboarders per country. So hypothetically, let's say you're a Canadian. In this theory, the top six pro ranking spots for these skaters are all American, but you're number seven and you're Canadian. You'd think, oh, I didn't make it. But actually, only the top three American skateboarders will make it, and then you would be next in line because those other American skateboarders didn't make top three in their country. Always remember, if you ain't first, last. So that's 19 for each section. That means there's one spot left and that one spot goes to the hometown hero. That's right. That last spot guaranteed goes to one skater from the host country. What are Olympic world skateboard rankings? There's different rankings of events and each event has a different amount of points that you get. There's world and national championship events. There's pro tour events like street league or do tour. There's five-star and continental events. 
Each place at each different one of these events is worth a different amount of points. For instance, a world event, if you get first place, it's worth 80,000 points. Whereas at a pro tour, if you get first place, it's worth 60,000 points. And then national events that are put on by individual countries, first place at that is actually only worth 3,330 points. It's crazy because you actually get more points that let's say if you place 20th in a world event, then you would be placing first place in a national event. Hit the link below and you can actually look at where everyone's world rankings are right now in skateboarding. You can even filter it to be like, who is the highest ranked female in the world or who is the highest ranked guy in Canada. At the end of June in 2021, Canada will announce who's made it onto the Olympic skateboarding team. And then early July, the IOC will announce who's made it into the Olympics for skateboarding. What do the Olympic skateboarders win? The Olympics don't give out any cash prizes for any placing. So you're literally just going there to compete for your country and for a gold, silver, or bronze medal. Individual countries do give cash to an athlete if they place. Each country will decide how much it is that they would give for a gold, silver, or bronze medal in that category. But we do know that whoever wins first, second, or third in the world for skateboarding will come out of there and they will be getting a ton of corporate sponsorships, which will pay off in the long run. What is the Olympic skate park? The bid to build the skate parks for the Japanese Olympic skateboarding competitions was won by California skate parks. You might know them because they build all of the street league skate parks, as well as most of the skate parks for Vans Park Series and Dew Tour. Here's a sneak peek of what the skate park at the 2021 Japan Olympics will look like. What equipment are skateboarders allowed to use at the Olympics? Every piece of equipment that is used across all sports in the Olympics is heavily scrutinized by the IOC or the International Olympic Committee because the IOC wants to make money off of every logo that is present at the Olympics. They're kind of a greedy organization especially because they don't give out any money for first, second, third in any sports. Skateboarders are allowed to bring their own equipment, that means shoes and skateboards, that have actually been on the market for six months prior to the event. So that means basically someone like Letitia Bufani couldn't show up with a Plan B board with a monster logo printed on the bottom unless it came out six months prior. Boards are allowed to be made out of any material that you want. There's no limitation on shape or size. It also states in the rule book that the skateboard cannot be attached to the athlete's feet at any times by any means. Also, all skaters skating in the park category have to wear helmets, as well as all skaters that are under 18 that are skating in the street category have to wear helmets as well. This might throw off a few skaters that aren't used to it. Their equipment doesn't include things like pants, t-shirts, or hats. Those things fall into our next category. What are the Olympic skateboard uniforms? Like every sport, skateboarders will be required to wear a uniform at the Olympics. This will be interesting to actually see what each country's uniform looks like because skateboarders don't really like to be one told what to do, but told what to wear. It's part of their expression. That'll be almost as interesting as the sport itself in the Olympics because we've heard that even Team France, one of their uniforms is a full jumpsuit, coveralls made by Nike SB. It looks like you're going to work on a NASCAR. Also, any of the uniform can't have any logos on it. So you're not gonna see Nija and a big Monster Energy logo on his hat or his shirt or any of the Red Bull guys wearing those Red Bull hats. It's also funny because when you're not actually competing, when you're not on the course skating and you're walking around the Olympic Village as an athlete, they require you to wear the clothing that is supplied by your country. And you're gonna see people in matching track suits and all sorts of wacky stuff, which will just be kind of a funny thing to see. The uniforms are made by a bidding process, so each brand would basically bid on the countries that they wanted to make the uniforms for, and so we see that Nike SB made France, Brazil, the USA, and a few other countries. Canada just announced that our uniform will be made by a brand called RYU, one of the wackest names ever, but the brand actually looks pretty dope. Think, of, think like Lululemon, it's like fitness gear. We started a petition. If you guys want shreds, to be the new supplier and designer for the Japan 2021 Olympics for the Canadian uniforms, sign below. Let's get it in there, guys. We got this. What is the future of Olympic skateboarding? 
The next Summer Olympics will be in Paris in 2024. They're hoping to add more skaters to each section, park or street, and they want to improve the qualification system to get into the Olympics as a skateboarder. There's also a bunch of higher ups that are hoping to ditch the International Rollerblade Federation that is the governing body between each country and the IOC, the International Olympic Committee. And so hopefully if we can ditch that, we can get something more legit in there that represents skateboarding. We said it earlier, we'll say it again. Do you think that skateboarding should be in the Olympics or shouldn't be? And tell us who is gonna win men's street, men's park, women's street, women's park. Let us know below because we need to know and start making our bets. We're gonna make millions. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Levi, this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding. And you just watched How Olympic Skateboarding Works. Stay tuned for comment of the week. Hello, hello, hello. yeah! Mm. Comment of the week. Tonight, we got a spicy one. A real spicy hammer straight to your gut and or bunghole. It's from my man, Mist Ninja. Miss Ninja, you're the man. He told us where he was watching from. We love that, guys. Let us know more. Miss Ninja says, watching from my bathroom on the toilet, doing a toss poppus. That's right, he's probably dunking them. One after another, toss, poppus, toss, <laughs> poppus. That's right, he's doing it, he's watching us. Same time, let us know. What sort of bowel movements are you having while watching our YouTube videos? Peace, guys. <laughs>